This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. It didn't matter that Brett Bielema was playing his former team for the first time. The Illini head coach wanted nothing to do with that storyline. Instead, he said it was all about getting a win against Big Ten opponent Wisconsin. The Badgers entered this one 1-3 one on the season with the best run defense in the country. And that was pretty clear on the first few drives. The Illini didn't run the ball in the first quarter. And quarterback Brandon Peters goes down there with the sack. Badgers will lead 3-0 after a field goal. And in the second, Graham Mertz airs it out. It'll be intercepted by Kirby Joseph. It's his third of the season, but the Illini will be forced to punt for the third time of the half as Josh McCray here is stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Tough day for the Illinois running backs. Wisconsin will end up getting the first touchdown of the game. John Chenal forces his way into the end zone. That'll make it 10 0 Wisconsin as they were cruising in this one. Art Sibkowski later comes in for an injured Brandon Peters right before halftime, but he struggles to get anything thing going for the Illini. 0 for 7 in the first half and Wisconsin leads 10 nothing at halftime. Wisconsin continues to add to it. After that, Ches Malusi runs it in to make it 17 nothing. 145 yards on the day for him. They add to it with their second unanswered touchdown of the third quarter. Braylon Allen for 23 of his 131 yards. This one for the score and it's all Wisconsin. That is the ball game as the Illini are shut out for the first time since 2018. Illinois punted seven times and only got the ball into Badger territory once. Here's WCI 3's Brett Barons with more from Memorial Stadium. For the first time since 1977, Illinois' offense fails to put up 100 yards of net offense, and the stats show just how bad it was. Illinois ran 47 plays in the game for just 93 yards. A closer look makes it even worse. 26 yards on the ground, 67 in the air for the orange and blue. Meanwhile, the Badgers had little trouble running the ball, carrying it 61 times for 391 yards. Sickening. It doesn't, it doesn't sit well with us. Whenever you have zero points, you know, it's like, like we got to put points up on the board. Looks on our faces, that's, that's a taste that we don't ever want to taste again. So we're going to take this one pretty hard. We're going to move on. Arter Sikowski replaced Brandon Peters at quarterback after he left with an unspecified injury. The switch didn't help much with Sikowski going 8 for 27 for 55 yards. Whatever's called to me, I got to do. If it's third and long, I got to do my job. If it's third and short, I got to do my job. So I got to keep doing my job. I gotta, you know, I got to motivate those around me to do their job too. The Illinois defense hung tough, but Wisconsin controlled the clock, eating up 43 minutes in time of possession. Combine that with the Illini going 1 for 12 on third down, and they had a recipe for disaster. I think there was enough positive uh, on defense that you felt good that uh, we could go forward, but we just couldn't execute in a throw game that gives you a chance in, in this type of game. A bye week awaits the Illini, who are in desperate need of a reset offensively. Illinois head coach Brett Bielema says they will first look to get healthy in this time off and then start to reevaluate some things moving forward at two and five that could mean playing some new guys as well as he looks to build this program for the future but with Iowa and Penn State still on the schedule it doesn't get any easier this year reporting for your Illini Nation at Memorial Stadium